everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna take a look at the new Generation 3 Monster High Laguna Blue doll that just released here not too long ago. Uh, I cannot believe I own her. Laguna is one of my favorites of the new lineup, so I'm really excited to go over her with you. So stay tuned as we take a look at her box, her details. We're going to get her out, and I want to know what you guys think. All right, so we do have this kind of fun new box here, so we'll kind of take a look at it. Um, Laguna looks really short in the box. There's a lot of empty space above her, but for Deuce Gorgon, I guess it probably works pretty well. But you can see we have the Monster High logo and the Monster High skull. We have Claudine, we have Laguna, and we have Frankie. And of course, Neptuna, Laguna Blue. We have Neptuna here out of the little hologram sign there her extra stuff that she comes with it does say monster high in rainbow colors and on the back here of course that also says monster high it talks a little bit about laguna herself so if you want to pause and read it there you certainly can if you're looking for laguna in your area here is her barcode so go ahead and scan it it sounds like she's showing up at pretty much well, everywhere, Walmarts and Targets and everything. Mine was a gift, so I am not sure <laughs> if they're in my area or not right now. Almost everybody's focusing solely on gas and water and food since we are all still without power down here in, uh, in South Florida due to the hurricane. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead, let's take her out, and I wanna know what you guys think. Really quickly, I did wanna show you how easily these boxes come apart. So as you can see, I already have the plastic off. It just literally is all these little tabs. They fit right into the backboard of the cardboard box here. So that was really, really simple to get her out. But now we're going to get her out, get her out. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so I have Laguna out. So what we're going to do first is, uh, first of all, I do want to say <clears throat> she does not come with a stand. This stand is an old Manster stand, a Manster High stand. So uh, <clears throat> that's the only one I can find that works for her since they do have a little bit wider waists than the other one. Um, the Manster stands work actually really, really, really well, but she does not come with one. But anyhow, that aside, accessories. So first things first, she does come with this really cute little pair of sunglasses here. They've got like little fins on the side. There are some scales, really, really cute. Uh, I do like these quite a bit. I think they're kind of fun. She also comes with her shell backpack, which does open up kind of, you can see here. So if you wanted to put some of her things in there, you could, but I love the shell look to it. Also, this kind of the spider webbing as well with the goo dripping out. I think that's fun. And of course, these just fit right over her shoulders. She comes with a swimsuit, which I think is really cute. So we got some little fish scale designs on there as well as some kind of coral colored um, ruffles and a bow. Uh, it does have a little cardboard uh, hanger that says Monster High that will be put in the recycling. She comes with her shell phone in the case, uh, kind of is like a shell, but also a coffin. <laughs> so that's pretty cute. It just fits right over her thumb there with that little loop. She also has a water bottle, which is cute. It feels like, yep, it does come right off. Of course, it's not hollow or anything, but the cap does come off. So do be careful. Don't want to lose it. She has a little box of goldfish crackers. I think this is really cute. I think that's adorable. And then, of course, we have the beautiful Neptuna looking wonderful. I like the artwork a little bit better on Neptuna than I do the actual Neptuna itself. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. But she is really cute. It's kind of like translucent plastic for the fins. And then a more opaque plastic, of course, for the body and her beautiful blue eyes. Love, love, love Neptuna. She's really, really cute. So now let's take a look at Laguna herself. One big difference I noticed. If you look on the artwork, she has fangs. On the doll, she doesn't. So I don't know what that's about, but hey, it is what it is. So she does have the normal crazy Laguna hair. Um, it's a little more colorful than what we're used to. Usually it's just blue and yellow, but we've got blue, yellow, and pink going on now. Um, Laguna herself is far more colorful, it seems, too. Um, but it is kind of that way. I'm going to have to like boil wash this to make it less ratty because um, right now it's kind of tangly. Uh, and then I'll curl it after that with um, some straws and boiling water again. But it is in a high ponytail, you can see here. And then it's got this uh, like like sea urchin type design. Yeah, I think those are sea urchins uh, as a ponytail holder. Um, and then uh, she has two tendrils kind of coming down the side, two little uh, ponytails on the side. She has some barrettes holding the hair back, which I do like that quite a bit. Coming to Laguna's face, of course, we have brand new uh, face molds for Generation 3 Monster High. Um, yeah, I mean, they're cute. Don't get me wrong. They're very cute. I just, I really prefer Generation 1. I don't know. These just seem really cutesy, and I love the Generation 1 
uh, molds, but these are fun and I love Laguna. So, you know, it's okay. She has some scales painted across her forehead. She has freckles that are blue scattered across her cheeks. She has, I love her ears. Look at her ears. Aren't her ears cute? Little fish ears. She has a little dead fish earring in one ear and then just a pearl earring in the other. Um, she has kind of a coral peach uh, lipstick going on there. Beautiful brown eyes. Uh, coming down, she's wearing kind of a fun little, um, almost like a jumpsuit kind of, it seems like, material. Um, so we have a pink uh, shirt here with some netting for sleeves. It has a seahorse skeleton and some bubbles. She has a fanny pack. Look at that. Love the teeth, the monster smile. I think that's really, really cute. Looks like there's a bite out of it over here. Um, she has her hood, so she does have her signature Laguna hood. It's just tucked in down here underneath her, um, underneath the fanny pack. I'll see if I can pull it out here. There we go. Yeah, so she does have her signature hood with the hole, so you can put her hair through it if you wanted to, because um, I know all the other Lagunas, of course, have their um, have the the hood on her on her jacket, and that they kept the same fish scale. So I do like that they did keep that. I love her shorts though; they're like biker shorts, but they're rainbow colored with like some fins here on the side. Super super cute. But my favorite part about Laguna are her legs. I love how they go from like kind of like the peach skin tone to this translucent blue. How cool is that? Now I'm gonna try and take one of her shoes off here so we can kind of get a good look. It goes all the way down to her toes. I think that is so, so neat. I love that. Um, she does have her signature fins on her legs there. These ones do not come off, unlike the other ones which do. So I like that I will not lose those. Um, her shoes themselves are like beach sandals. They both say monster across the strap. We have a little shell on the front. It looks like waves and then some fins. Really, 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 really love that. So this is my first generation three doll. I don't have any others. I did um, pre-order Laguna on Entertainment Earth, or not Laguna, excuse me, Draculaura on Entertainment Earth, but I think she's back ordered till November. So this is my first go um, at the like normal, because I have the, the school spirit or ghoul spirit ones, but this is the normal like uh, baseline run. So this is, this is kind of fun to have one of the main characters in their normal new outfit. So I'm loving this quite a bit. Um, points of articulation, of course, the head moves and spins and turns. Um, it also, she has, yep, right underneath the bust line, you can move her as well. Um, shoulder, elbow, which she does have her fins and scales on her forearm. And then, of course, the hand, legs can go out, forward, backward. Knees can spin and swivel. And, of course, forward and back as well. Um, so great points of articulation. So if you are a doll photographer, a toy photographer, lots of posability options with this new Laguna. Um, she is really, really cute. And, I mean, yeah, she's my first one of the normal line. But I think she might be my favorite. I don't know. We'll see once I get Draculaura. <laughs> uh, mine does have a little bit of a paint chip right there, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. She is super, super cute. Alrighty guys, well thank you for joining me on my review of the new Laguna Blue from the Generation 3 Monster High Dolls. I absolutely love her. She's so cute. Hopefully you guys are able to find her in your area. She seems to be showing up in all Walmarts and Targets now. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll be able to get her. I really want to get my hands on a Ghoulia Yelps and I really want to get a Draculaura. So hopefully my pre-order from In Entertainment Earth for a Draculaura shows up soon. We shall see. Um, and I really want to get Cleo too. So uh, so many things, so many things. Again, guys, thank you for bearing with me during this difficult time. We're trying our hardest to, you know, get life back to normal as we still wait for power and wait for internet. Um, so as I said, you know, my videos are going to be uploaded whenever I can make it to like a Starbucks or a Panera Bread or something like that. Um, I'm otherwise, I'm limited to, you know, just whenever I have the availability. So thank you to everyone for standing by. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the words of encouragement. We are making it through. It's just tough <laughs> and getting kind of expensive. But hey, you know what? Life goes on, right? That's part of everything. <laughs> but anyhow, to everyone else who's been affected by the storms, I hope you're doing okay. Uh, I hope this brings a smile to your face. I know uh, receiving these did bring a smile to mine. Uh, and it's just been, uh, yeah, it's been. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. Hope you're having an extra magical day and we will see you real soon.